we're gonna make, let's see, five cylinders, five triangles, five boxes, and five um, circles. Shapes of your own. Okay, so <clears throat> the cylinders are your are what the circle is. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna find something to trace around. It could be whatever. A uh, quarter, dime, penny, nickel, anything that's going to be round. In this case, it's the plastic part of the inside of a top, of a top or top of a drink. Okay, <clears throat> then you're going to go to the vanishing point and <clears throat> you're going to go ahead and draw your shape in there. Uh, I'm making it go all the way here to the other side of this window shape. Now, if you're going through a window shape, I want you to notice that we are actually going to draw on the inside of the window because you can see through the window, right? Um, and then all you're going to do is just, uh, remember that whole practice thing of the, the curved lines we did over and over and over and over and over again? Okay, mm -hmm. that's going to come in, in time, or uh, that's going to come into play again now. We're just going to make that curved line like that. And then you erase your tail, and then it looks like your cylinder just continues. Now, why do we not use that same shape to make the next you curve? Because you don't want it as big as that one. You don't want it to be as big. Why? Because as it goes back into space, it's going to get smaller. Okay? <clears throat> and if you try to use the exact same one, what you're going to end up with is like a half circle. Right? It's not even, it's not going to come around. Okay? So you want that to go, to, to look like it's actually curving. All right, so you're going to make five of those cylinders. Um, then, just for the purpose of the video here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the other things we're going to do. So you're going to make a box. You're going to make a square. Like this. And I want you to make some of your boxes <clears throat> where the flat side is facing it. And I want you to make some of your boxes where you have the corner facing it. Now, some of you are going to ask, so what's the difference? Well, let me show you. So we're going to have one box where we obviously have the corner facing. All right? And that's a rectangle. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, so... If the side is facing it, you're going to go from each one of your corners. To your towards your vanishing point. If there's even a side here, I'm not sure. I guess there is. Okay, in this case, it's obvious you're going to have a side. Okay, <clears throat> now when we're making the planes, remember our how you made the back of the plane? It had to be parallel to what? The vanishing point. Well, that, uh, it had to be parallel to the top, top of the box, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to make this line parallel to this line. Okay. Remember, it's going in exactly the same direction. And then this part is going to, again, do the same thing. You're going to make it go in exactly the same direction. Okay, and then you raise any tails. Okay, same thing here. You're going to make your box go, the back of the box go in exactly the same direction here. And this one has to be going in exactly the same direction. Here. And it has to come from that same corner. Okay. All right, and then you're just going to erase your tail. Now, when you're overlapping, what do you notice about the shapes that are, are being overlapped? 
So the lines don't go through. Okay, yeah, the line. You're not going to see the lines. You're going to stop them if they're going back behind an object. Okay. All right. Um, boxes, cylinders. What's the other thing? Triangles. Triangles. Okay. Well, triangle is almost exactly the same thing as a box. You're just going to make a triangle instead. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I have to demonstrate that to show you how that works. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. And then weird object. Here's the last one. Weird object. Let's say that you want to make a figure eight. Or a skull, or whatever. Then eyeball. Wherever you're, or an eyeball, yep, you can do that. Um, so then you're just going to go from the top to your vanishing point. You're going to go from the bottom to your vanishing point. You're going to, oh, and then you're going to go from the, that middle point to your vanishing point. My boy's roll of paper towels. Okay, and then you just have to make your two curves. It's going hard. It looks like paper toes. Okay. And that's it. All right, so did that help figure out how to do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to make, you are going to make five boxes, five cylinders, five uh, random objects that you want to make. Uh, they can be the same object or five different objects, whatever. Uh, and then... Five triangles. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead, and that's that's the goal for today. Do we want to do a circle thing?